In this video, I'm going to go over correcting some common problems that people run into when creating lathe nerves. One of the first is when you're just drawing out your spline. So if you're in a new scene, uh, and let me just reset my, my view so we're all working in the same place here, uh, and go into your front view and use your Bezier spline tool to try and draw out a curve, as soon as you click to add a point, what happens is you get an axis that shows up. And very often, you want to add a point right here where your axis is. So there's a couple ways to approach this. Uh, probably the quickest is to just use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in a bit so that the axis takes up less space uh, relative to where you want to place the point. That'll allow you to place the point right there. But these axes can really be tricky uh, over time, especially if you want to do something like add a point right there. So an easy trick to temporarily uh, get this axis out of your way is to adjust your viewport filter. So if you click on this filter uh, option in your viewport, you can turn on and off different things. So in this case, I want to turn off my axis so that I no longer see that point as I'm trying to work in here. Uh, that'll really uh, save you a lot of frustration. Now another uh, problem that you'll often run into with a lathe nerves object is that you'll get weird artifacting like this, like you can see on the bottom. And this is often caused by pieces that are crossing over the y-axis and intersecting with each other and from sections that are not totally flat. So let's go ahead and correct that in our front view. So go into your front view and turn off your lathe nerves by clicking on this check mark and then clicking on your spline. If we look at our spline object, we can see that our curve is actually crossing over the y-axis. With a lathe nerves object, you never want to move beyond this y-axis point, but you do want to touch it uh, exactly. So with my spline object selected, I can go into points mode and take my uh, selection tool to select a point, and then my move tool. Uh, now the easiest way to do this uh, for me often is to just set the position of a point like this to zero in the coordinates manager on the x-axis. Another option is to turn on snapping for my tools. So with my move tool selected, I can turn on snap settings and enable snapping on my grid, for example. So now when I move a point, it snaps to my grid. And that's what I'm going to want to do for this point right here on the bottom as well. Another uh, thing is that you'll often get points that are a little too uh, tight together like this. So just I'm going to turn off snapping temporarily and move my point over to the side like this. Now when I turn my lathe nerves object back on, you'll see that that's corrected that uh, puckering problem. Another problem that you'll sometimes run into, especially if you're zoomed in really tight on an object, is you start to see these polygonal edges, and it's no longer looking round. And that's because uh, lathe nerves objects uh, work by rotating a spline and making a number of copies of it. And the number of copies that are made is based on this subdivision setting. If you increase this number, you'll get a smoother result. Now your goal is for this number to be as low as possible while still maintaining uh, a good looking silhouette. And the reason you do that uh, is that if you start to get too many polygons, like say, setting like this, it'll really slow down your viewport and your ability to work with the object. So uh, I believe the default is uh, 36, and that's uh, more than sufficient uh, in most circumstances, especially if you're not zoomed in too close. Uh, another thing that will happen is you'll sometimes get really thin portions on a lathe nerves object, and that's because your points are a little too close to this midline. So again, just select that point and drag it over. Now, uh, one other error that you'll often see or, or get is uh, dimples or puckering. And that's caused when you have a point coming towards the y-axis that doesn't have a flat uh, handle on it. So what you want to do is go to your lathe nerves, select your spline. Uh, I, I, what I did is I turned off my lathe nerves, excuse me. I go to my spline, 
and I look at this point on the midline. My first thing that I check is whether or not it's located at x0. So it should always be at x0. The next thing is that I want to make sure that it has axis handles. Right now it's a hard point, so it doesn't have soft interpolation. So I'm going to right click and choose soft interpolation. What that does is it gives me these handles, and I want to drag those handles out flat. Like this. Uh, I can now adjust uh, my other point that's leading up into it, and I want a nice smooth line like this. So again, your, your goal is to have a straight line heading into all of these joins. Turn my lathe nerves back on, and we've more or less eliminated that dimple. Now we still have a slight one, which I can correct by reducing the strength of this point, and it helps to have this 3D preview on as I make adjustments. Like this. Another, uh, let me see if I can find any more issues in this laser nerves object. Uh, you'll also sometimes get a hard edge, like what you see right here. And that's sometimes due to a point with broken handles. Now, that's not exactly the circumstance here. Right now, the handles are just too short. If I were to make them longer, that would eliminate most of that error. But you'll sometimes see a point that has an edge like this. And that gives you a really hard crease, and you really want to avoid hard creases like that if you can. Uh, let me give you another example. You might end up with a spline that looks something like this, just a really uh, ugly spline. Uh, again, I'm going to set the uh, exposition to this to zero. And I'm going to turn off close spline. There you go, so it stays open. And I'm going to have this wrap around my lathe nerves. Now the problem that we're getting here is that all of our edges are way too sharp. To save ourselves from a really crisp edge, the easiest way to do that is to select your point and right-click and choose Soft Interpolation, and that'll smooth out your point uh, pretty easily. Another option, if you want to maintain these angles really exactly, is to go into your front view and select any of the points that form corners, right-click, and select the Chamfer tool. If you click and drag to your right, you can interactively round out your corners. Uh, this is really fantastic for mechanical modeling. So you can do all of your modeling by just adding in linear points, these straight hard edges, and then round them out after the fact. So if we take a look at our cup now, we now have very nice, smooth, precise roundings on the corners. Now those are just uh, some of the problems you might run into with the lathe nerves. I'm sure that there are more that exist, but uh, that should at least get you started.